Hey you guys, Dr. Sharma here, about to talk to you about physician burnout. Now recently ZDog just released um, a video that gained popularity about physician burnout and about not wanting to use that word, what exactly it was and how we can sort of prevent it or have our healthcare system move forward to help physicians who start to develop symptoms and signs that we term burnout, but rather he likes to call it more of like a moral shaming sort of thing something that they like to say that the front line of physicians, the front line of healthcare workers that are working directly with patients are experiencing what is known to be as sort of decreased efficiency, decreased ability to take care of their patients, cynicism, high rates of depression, as well as actually suicide. And this is a pretty serious topic because physicians are the ones taking care of patients and if a physician isn't able to really keep themselves happy or in a not really depressed state of mind, it really definitely takes an effect on the physicians that they're treating. Really, it comes down to if a physician isn't able to take care of themselves, how are they able to take care of their patients? It really comes down to a lot of the bureaucratic tasks that physicians have to do in the hospital and in our current healthcare system in the United States in order to actually take care of their patients. Now, I want to talk about the specifics that may lead to physician burnout and my personal experiences of it going through residency. On a recent survey of multiple physicians across specialties, about 60% of them said that chart taking or paper charting on different medical records such as EMRs was one of the leading causes of burnt physician burnout. It's sort of what takes the physician's eyes off the patient and onto a computer screen in order for billing, charting purposes, but those things really take a significant amount of time and it's really hard to avoid that unless we can try to change the healthcare system in some way. Another factor is hours spent at work, which inherently includes charting and paper charting on electronic medical records. On average, at least 40% of physicians are working between 50 and 60 hours on average per work week. Now, recently for residencies, in 2003, regulations were changed not to allow residents to work over 80 hours per week on average. Now, there's sort of a caveat to this because residents are paid on a salary basis rather than an hourly basis. This means that going over that capped number of hours per week is something that actually happens pretty often across certain residency specialties and at certain different hospitals and universities during residency training. Now imagine different levels of residents with different capabilities of working efficiently in a hospital and seeing patients at different speeds. Now you can see why certain residents may be spending more time at the hospital and maybe going over these average hours per, per week guidelines that the AMA has provided for residencies. It's very physician specific and trust me through residencies I've definitely seen the difference between residents in terms of working efficiencies and the hours spent at work which can definitely lead to physiological exhaustion and just a overall increased level of stress because they aren't getting as enough sleep. On top of the high number of work hours required by residents in order to meet their employer's needs and guidelines, they on top of that have to think about the debt that they've taken, the large chunk of their early 20s that they've spent in order to really help people with their lives, in order to learn medicine. It's a huge amount of stress and it is a huge amount of debt that is incurred upon medical students going into medicine. There's a lot of different reasons leading to physicians going into this overall level of stress, depression, and leading to high suicide rates. And I think the first step is gonna be acknowledgement and awareness of those in the hospital system and those that are not in the front line of healthcare workers the way that physicians and nurses are in order to, to take notice of this term called physician, uh, physician burnout that we're all sort of calling it. I really think that's the first step that's going to change healthcare moving forward.